My next guest, I guess best known for playing Game of Thrones wise manipulator Lord Varys, but Conleth Hill's latest role couldn't be more different. Look, he couldn't be more different. Playing a hapless police officer in the ITV adaptation of Graham Norton's best selling book, Holding. Well, Conal Hill joins me now. It's so good to see you. You too. It really is. And what a cracking part to play. Such yeah. a big, gentle giant. Yeah, a he's a lovely, flawed yeah. human being yes. with uh, lots of problems, but uh, it was just a gift of a role and uh, with Cathy involved and Brenda and Dominic Treadwell Collins and Karen, who wrote, Karen Cogan, who wrote the scripts and the novel it was based on. It was it's a no-brainer. It's just no one of those perfect things, isn't it? It all yeah. comes together. Cathy Burke directing. Of course, Graham Norton wrote the, the, the original book and you've got an amazing, an amazing cast. Oh, the best. And you filmed it basically at home. Well, kind of. as far as I can go on the island without <laughs> leaving the island. I'm in the northeast and it's Look in the southwest. Beautiful. Yeah, it was absolutely stunning. glorious. Stunning. It's like you know that the place is one of the characters. Definitely, definitely yeah. it's a, Feels another like character that, in it. it. Yeah. And I think it, that kind of isolation lends itself to that kind of holding things of back and holding things in. So it's yeah. been wonderful. You must be so pleased. Very, very pleased. I just heard it was the biggest drama last I know. week. It's kind of what we need. It's got a wee, just a wee touch of the Ballycus Angels. You yeah. Know, a wee bit of that. Yeah. Um, and obviously you've got the, you know, the mystery and all of that and the, and the interesting quirky characters. But it's not because Graham's written it, it's not in any way sort of like cliched, you know? No, Do no. you know what I mean? The no. character's very rounded. So yeah, I agree, I agree. <laughs> and uh, we're all Irish in it and we all felt it was Irish enough without being too Irish or Exactly, whatever. you don't want to go the full leprechaun. No, no diddly dee, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> we don't want any of that. Now, of course, you couldn't look different or be more different to that man uh, in, in Game of Thrones. What a cracking role that was. Yeah, life-changing, career-changing, Oh, I You were so else. scared in that though. All oh, right. Okay. Really no, I find you very I find you very frightening. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. No, it's fine. No, it's absolutely fine. But what but the thing is, when you go out and about and if you're out with pals that worked on Game of Thrones, yeah. people don't recognise you. No, they didn't. Uh, even <laughs> even while in the midst of shooting there were lots of uh, can we have that security man uh, less close to the cast, please. They would think you were secured. Or a wine waiter, or, you know... <laughs> would you mind getting out of the shot and you're kind of like, yeah. oh, thanks about John Bradley West, who played Samuel in it, and I are good mates still, and we go to Old Trafford, and that was the only place I didn't mind being recognised, but people would ask me to leave. To get out of the way? So or could, could you take this photo. photograph of me yeah. and the star of Game of Thrones? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, but I don't mind. It was a kind no, of a, a blessing good. in a way. Do you know the way that they have conventions, like Doctor Who and Star Trek have conventions? Are they going to do that? Or do they do that for Game of Thrones? Yeah, I think some people do it because or did it before be... lockdown. Yeah. But I don't think there's been a specific... They've got to. They've got a new uh, visitor centre in Banbridge now where we filmed uh, wow. back home and that seems to be going very well. But it's four years since we finished. It's ridiculous. So it's it's, it's going wild... by. It's gone by so, so fast. Mm -hmm. And that was another one that was great because a lot of it was done quite near you. Yeah, the, all Banbridge. the interiors for the... Whole all eight seasons were Belfast, so I could be filming in the morning and in my garden in the afternoon. Oh, that doesn't work all that much. That must no. have been just... It was amazing. Fantastic. It was amazing. I was very and, lucky. And you know the way things work, but you'll always have friends for life after that show. You, you always will, of course, because it was such an intense experience. Now, look, you were thrown under the bus. Yes. Can I put it to you? Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Did you or did you not? Were you or were you not responsible for a Starbucks coffee cup being on set? Um, I think when there we it look, is. Yes, the look at the cup. And where am I? <laughs> you're nowhere there. Thank you. I no, you're not. Case. It's actually it is sitting in front I think of a certain I was, young lady. I was to Amelia's left, sort of out of frame. Yes. But I genuinely no. It wasn't you. It wasn't me. It wasn't but you. I did did take the blame for a while. That was very noble and very kind of you. And when and she was getting, uh, I think Sophie was laying into her, and David and Dan were laying into her, saying it was definitely her because it's in front of her. Yes. I don't remember ever these, drinking coffee on set. These things happen. Yes. These things happen, yes. and it's okay. It's a talking point, a nice it's, breaker. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> so look, with this, with this whole uh, new series, with you know, are we going to get some more? Because it has been so. Holding has been so successful. Or do you think we'll get some more? Well, I think it's possible. Okay. Oh, um, uh, but I, you, you know, you can't just leave them there when we got to know and love them. We well, want more of this. I know. Well, I'd love it. I'd love it, and I'd love you know. Obviously, we won't have all our cast members. Oh, yes, indeed, yes. But no, without giving anything don't away. Don't give anything away. But uh, it was just a, a, 
it's one of the happiest experiences and I'd never, I've had years of coming in, doing two or three days, thanking you for the lovely money and leaving. Yes. Whereas this was in every day, all day. You were, you were the great big giant and star. And at 38, you know, it was a bit of a, no, 50, <laughs> 56. This was, your, this was your first sort of... You Number know, one, yeah, 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 which I thought was past me, beyond me oh, and so everything you never, else. You never know no, the, that's it. the world of acting, you just never know. We're going to see you in this big Agatha Christie uh, why didn't they tell Evans? Why didn't they that, ask Evans? Why didn't they ask Evans? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Is that the one that's directed by Hugh Laurie? The brilliant Hugh Laurie, yeah. And the cast is fantastic, it's, isn't it? It's amazing. But that young man there is one of the nicest people in the world, I have to say. Oh. So I keep calling him Phil Coulter, but his name's Will Poulter. You know who Phil Coulter yes, is. Yes, of course yeah. I do. <laughs> it's an but, easy mistake to me. No, it was brilliant filming in Wales and... Uh, just look how beautiful that is as well. Gorgeous. The landscape seems to be my uh, yeah. number one. I think so. <laughs> I think so. It is so good to see you. Thank you. Can I say Thank a quick yes, happy 80th about... birthday to my uh, friend Stephen? 80? Yeah. Wow. He doesn't look it. Do you know what, though? 80 now is the new 70. But here's hoping. Not... Well, it is. It is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I suppose. But when we were younger and someone was 50, you were like, oh. I know. Poor wee soul. I know. <laughs> Thank you for Thank coming you in. Thank you very much. You have cheered me up no end. Yeah, you really have. Absolute Thank pleasure. you, Cornlith. And um, I hope there's going to be more holdings. And obviously, we're going to see you in Why Didn't They Ask Evans. Thanks a million. And holding, it continues Monday night, 9 o'clock on ITV. And let's get the campaign going right now for series number two. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.